So today, let's learn about addition concept and the properties of it. Let's get started up with the basic definition of addition. Well, now, so as we already know, addition is the process whereby we put the objects together. For example, now let's say I have a couple of circles. Let's say one, two, three, and four circles. And let's say I have five boxes. One, two, three, four, and five. So what do I do basically? when it comes to the concept of addition. So this is the process where you put all the objects together. You are putting them together, which means there are four circles and five boxes. When you add it, the sum would be nine in total. So this is addition. Let's get to know the definition of it. So I will try to write the same over here. So basically, addition is the process whereby we put objects together. Okay, so this is what it is. Well, let me erase this part. So this is what is addition. It can be any sort of objects. Now, let's go to the next one, which is the properties of addition. But even before we go ahead with that, I would like to teach you about the terms used in addition. So come on, let's learn about it. Terms used in addition. So basically, what are the terms we use in addition? For example, let me take two numbers, 27, Add it with 32. Okay, now we call this as first added. We call it as first added. And the second number, the two digit numbers which you have will have over here, we call it as second added now you might be having certain queries about what addend is right so addend is basically the numbers which you are adding to find out the total or the sum okay so that's addend now what do we do here you join them together you combine these two numbers together to get the sum so 7 plus 2 is 9 2 plus 3 is 5 which is 59 you call this as sum or total yeah so this is all about the add-ins or I can also call it as the terms which you are using in addition. There are a few more terms uh, which are used, uh, like, you know, the basic terms. So, for example, okay, let me put it on the whiteboard. Well, so, in all, all together, Total sum. So these four are 
the basic ones which we keep getting while solving the word problems basically but in the upcoming sessions i'll also be introducing you guys with the new form of terms which will be used in the word problems okay so let's move on to a different concept now that is addition properties so basically there are different sort of properties used in addition but today the one which i'll be teaching you is um, another form of property let me tell you about it addition properties all right now basically this addition property is again divided into two parts okay all right so the first one is zero property of addition this is the first one and the other one is order property of addition these are the uh, properties of addition let's learn about it in detail while well, i'm unable to maximize this okay i hope it's visible well all right so one is zero property of addition and the other one is order property of addition let's get to know about each and every property with an example as well start with zero property of addition since the name itself tells that is zero property we maximize it okay now look at this as the name itself says that it is zero property consider whatever number for example 3 add it with zero i'm adding it with zero because this is the zero property of addition any number when you add it with zero you still get the same number or zero add it with three you still get the same number so remember this whatever number you added with zero you still get the same number this is called zero property of addition let's get to know the definition of it when zero is added to any number or any number is added to zero the sum is the number itself this is the actual definition of zero property so let's look into this again when zero is added to any number you're adding zero to any of the numbers or any number is added to zero so it can be any number like zero plus four zero plus ten whatever it is the sum is the number itself look at this i'm getting the same number right whatever number i'm adding i'm still getting the same number so this is all about zero property let's go to the next one and that is order property of addition okay let's get started up with this order property of addition whenever uh, you know you look at the name of 
any word, any keyword or whatever it is. Look at just the name over here, okay? Since the name itself says it is order, order, it's order property, which means it deals with order of the numbers. Now, let's see. I'll go with 13. But we added up with 24. Okay. Now, so this is, as I already told you, would be your first added. And this is your second added. Okay. Now, the answer, whatever you get here, would be your sum. So, 3 plus 4 is 7. 1 plus 2 is 3. So, 37 is your sum. Now, here, the numbers which I have considered is 13 plus 34. This is my order over here. But, what's the other way to write the same? Just change the order. I'll take 24 first and then I'll go with 13. Which means this would be my first add-in now and this is my second add-in. And the answer which I get over here would be sum. So 4 plus 3 is again 7, 2 plus 1 is 3 which means I'm getting the same answer even if I change the orders. Now, to make it clear, what I'll do is, let me erase all of these. Okay. I hope this is fine. Well, now, what do I do? I'll start it in this way. 14 plus 32 the answer which we get is 4 plus 2 is 6, 1 plus 3 is 4. Now this is my first addend. Okay? This is my second addend. And this is the sum. Now what, what do I do? I'll change the order. So, keep looking at this. I started up with 14 and 32. So, what should I do now? Replace the numbers 32 and 14. 2 plus 4 is 6. 3 plus 1 is 4. Did you see that? Fourteen is my first add in. Thirty two is my first add in here. Thirty two is the second add in here, but fourteen is the first add in. Did you see that? So, irrespective of the order, the answer which we get is still the same, isn't it? Now, let's understand about the definition of it. And actually, we can also call the order property of addition as commutative property. So, this is another name of order property. So, what's the other name? It is commutative property. Now, what does it mean? Changing the order of the numbers being added doesn't affect the sum. I hope you get this point because I have explained you with an example. Let's consider this again. Changing the order of the numbers. So I changed the order of my numbers. But it did not affect my sum, right? See, I'm getting the same answer. It did not affect the sum at all. So this is all about addition concept and the properties of addition for today.